just like that, we rolling. You ready? Yeah, man. Let me hit record, fool. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me hit record, fool. We good. Where you from, fool? Where you from, fool? Yeah, whole bunch of that. Check. All right, Mike check, my check. Hey, I'm going to say this. And I mean it. It's just not, it. it's not as fun not doing it live. Not to say that it isn't fun in general, but I really enjoyed myself. Yeah. Sweet. Got it. Got it. Welcome back to 36 Blackcast. Everyone out there. 36 episode. Blackcast in the house. Ocho. Episode hate. Episode hate. Oh, that's <laughs> way more clever than I am. Damn it. Damn it. You're the Dark Lord, Jay Leal. Yeah. The Overlord, Johnny Nobody. Those just sound those just sound swell together. And Angel. An angel. Damn, why's my shit gotta sound so soft? Cause he's a dark lord. I'm a dark the overlord. Dog. Just... And you're an angel. I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> I don't like this. Damn. <laughs> Sometimes it ain't fair. You just gotta roll with punches. Yeah. Right. Roll with them punches. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hasn't been that long, but it has been a minute for us recording. But an episode came out last week. It did. See how that works. Episode seven. I actually. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened? I listened to it. It was great. I thought it was great. You liked it after listening to it? I liked it after I listened to it. Okay, see? It two times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't, you can't base it in the moment. Because in the hey, moment, you're in the moment. Fun fact. Yeah. I've not hit anyone. <laughs> it's a step in the right direction. <laughs> no, seriously. Really? I haven't hit anyone that's, since, since that day. That's impressive. Thanks. Hey, man. I'm proud to be your brother. Aw. So proud. Shout out loud. Oh, oh. Look at that, that tattoo looks flawed. You like that? Dude, it healed up so nice. I still can't figure out why it didn't hurt. Because I, I did it with gentle, loving kisses. Well, obviously, but I've been tattooed before by you, and it, you know, feels like a tattoo. I got you. Is, is there something to that, though? Is there something to the temple not, like, are there not a lot of nerve endings or something? Um, honestly... Face tattoos, thin skin, you kind of have to go slow and soft. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Which, these lines are clean, these lines are crisp, it's all healed up, it's a piece of me now. Nice. You ever you ever feel that way? Like, before a tattoo is fully healed, you don't really feel like it's a piece of you yet? Yeah, yeah. The bridge of my nose was like that. Yeah. And then, like, once it's all healed and it feels like skin, it's just like, all right, that's me now. That's you. Yeah. It's in there forever. I'm into it. Oh, we should tell that story. So had we started, so every time, not every time, but a lot of times, to- sometimes when you tattoo, when, no, no, what it is is when you tattoo something like monumental, maybe not the biggest piece in the world, but something that stands out like my head or my face, there's always something out of the ordinary going around, like happening. <laughs> <laughs> and, and in yeah. this case, every time, <laughs> in this case, literally stood up. Like three minutes post tattoo, complete power outage on the whole block. So how we started five minutes later, you would have been needle deep in my face, pitch black. You, and just, you would have a B on your face yeah. instead of a 36 B. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we uh, dodged catastrophe. without Again. Even, again. That was a crazy day. Epic times. Epic, epic times. So I can't wait. To see, and I only want more now. God damn it. I know. Gotta even you up. That's yeah. how that works, by the way. <laughs> you get one, you want them all, huh? Yeah. Wait, did, Angel, do you have any face tattoos? I do. I just got the side of my face and the side of my head tattooed like uh, a couple months ago. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah right. All right, what's new stuff? New, uh, new episode, well, new I stuff. guess, you know, February 9th is happening. It is. Yeah, the sh- Shadow of Society. Shadow of Society. Hot Asian bun. Hot Asian uh, noodles. Were noodles confirmed or I no? Know. Still up in the air. I think, there, I think there's noodles. Yeah. I don't know. I really don't know. There may be noodles. I'm gonna be super honest with you. The kid that you know was always late is now always sick. Uh, so I can't ask him. Oh no. 
Yep, yep, yep. Come on, Z. But, I, you know, it's hard to be late. You can't be late if you don't come in. It's true, though. I mean, you don't yeah. even have to take off. Yeah. <laughs> Does he at least sound like that when he calls? It's Zeke. <laughs> How do you think he sounds? Like he's vaping? Probably. Every time in. Oh, I drank the cotton candy bang the other day. How'd that go? It, it tasted like Zeke's douche dust. <laughs> <laughs> douche dust. <laughs> yeah see anyway. why, why does yeah man if i if i ever succumb to like the vaping thing i wouldn't go cotton candy i wouldn't go any like sparkly it's flavors. not it's called blueberry muffins or something that's shit. still it's still too i don't too know fruity. you gotta carry around a giant box you have to call it cool things you try to blow weird shadows smoke things i don't i don't i don't know we're just not hip enough that's the problem not hip. And not, God, I'm still out of breath from walking those dogs. I hate it. I need to get into shape. You need to put me on a training regimen. Yeah. I get it. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, so February 9th is happening. I'll be down there. That'll be exciting. Yes. And That's then, it. Uh, what? Uh, 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 what? What's the, uh, the new clothing in the shop? Oh, Tawny stuff yeah. is now hanging here. Shredded Dreams. Shredded, Shredded dreams. dreams. Yeah, it's all her punk rock shit. Noisy ass motherfuckers. <laughs> looks stellar. Looks really cool. It, it does look cool. Yeah. So follow, well, follow 36 Black, obviously, but that's a given. And then yeah. from there, find your way to sh- uh, Shredded Dreams and Tawny and Kate, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Daddy Sharp. Kathy Sharp, what? Katney. Katney. Okay. Sharp. I thought you said Kathy. I was like, that's not a punk rock name. That's not punk rock at all. No, Kathy. Kathy. Sounds like somebody yeah, yeah. from the Midwest. Anyway, what? Nothing. I, nothing. Okay. I just don't want to, I didn't want to speak. O- I'm trying to not speak over people now. Why? I don't know. That's what makes us unique. Oh, okay. <laughs> we can listen and talk at the same time. You know, I never thought about it, but you make it's a really a port- good point. It's a portuguese. Portuguese. Portuguese way. Hey, things are catching on, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like Brazilians being less than Portuguese. And <laughs> yeah, like they're the Aldi of. Yeah, <laughs> like these things yeah. are, they're yeah, it's gaining momentum, and people like quote it at me around here. Nice. It's, yeah, it's weird. I've never done like podcasts where people will come up to me after and be like, "Hey, hey, ha, 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 this." It's like, "Hey, wow, you actually listened to the show. Thanks a lot." Yeah, you heard it. Yeah, it's pretty good. You gave a shit. Yeah. No. So, yo. Uh, big things might be happening in March. Bigger like, things. Like aside from the yoga. <laughs> Yeah, aside from yoga. Shout out, Brie. <laughs> shout out, <laughs> shout out, Brie. <laughs> um, She's yeah. a witch, man. I'm scared of her. No, no, be scared. Um, whatever you do, don't slide in her DMs. Slide in? Yeah, do not slide in her DMs. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Um, so yeah, we just might be making some moves here, so. I just want to say that just so people listening can stay. actually start to pay attention. Stay focused. Because the change is going to be drastic. Uh-oh. In the very bestest of ways. To be fair, I don't even know what he's talking about. This is true. Ah, shit. Truer words have never been spoken. That's when he's like, somebody else is going to be on the podcast. <laughs> Meet no. Angel. <laughs> is that why no. Angel's here? Is Angel replacing me? No. I mean, I get, Damn, I get no, why. Right. I get why. I wouldn't do that to you. I look in the mirror and say, "God damn it! I wish I was Angel." I thought you were the brains of the operation, man. Dude, I'm. I, I don't know what I am. The brains. The yeah, brain. the brains, kid. Damn it! That's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Yeah. So there's yeah. that. Okay. Uh, February 9th. Wait, you can't say more than just like, "Hey, big no, things are coming." No, I oh. just want people to start looking at the stories. And all this other shit, because it might be happening sooner than later. Oh, shit. Okay. Depending. Uh, oh, damn. All right. 
I told you about that, though. Mm, I don't think so. I did. <laughs> I think you think I you did. I told you. Hey. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you think you told me, but I'm... <laughs> I tell you everything. All right. Except that one time... Yeah. I hugged a tree. You hugged a tree? Keep on hugging. Yikes. Keep on hugging. Well, that's, anyway. That's exciting, man. That's cool. Yeah. So Angel decided that he wants to be on camera now. That's fun. That's right. not even how that went at all. Yeah, that's exactly how that went. He was like, I think it's time for me to shine. It's kind of like when he told he, me about the, the news. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Like he just like, I'm going to point a camera in my direction and I think I like it. Oh, yeah. Not true at all. So you'll be seeing a lot more Angel's face is what I'm getting at. I'm into that. I think everyone's into that. Especially Angel. Speaking of Angel... And if this was on camera, you would. This would be my. This is on camera. Oh yeah, you're filming it. I am filming it. Any content though. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. yeah uh, a handsome giant mug on the fucking camera. Speaking of cameras and angels, that's so big. YouTube. I, <laughs> it doesn't even take. It takes up the whole screen of your phone. That's because you're small. Look at this. And sure, that's what I have not because exactly. I'm far away. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, go subscribe <laughs> to our YouTube channel, 36 Black YouTube. Yeah. That's all put together now and fancy. That's awesome. Angel's got a video up there. Woo! Titties. Didn't even know. Master, you knew. Master Shake Tattoo. You, I mean, don't point the camera at yourself while you were talking. We got a motorcycle club going by. Sorry. That was a small club. Yeah. Uh, so, anyway. All right. And then. Let's talk about some work ethic stuff. You've been you've been really into that. Lately. I mean, you've always been into that, but you've been really you're you've been louder about it than usual. Yeah, that seems to happen lately, where yeah. something sparks something, and then I get really, and then I get nervous. I'm like, "Fuck, is he talking about me?" Are you doing Lamaz? Yeah, you doing Lamaz? Mm-hmm. I do it. It relaxes me. Yeah, like when I take a giant shit, and it feels like an episiotomy. And then you use your uh, Hello Tushy yeah. Port- portable de- bidet. Isn't that just a squirt gun? Oops, I crap my pants. <laughs> it's a super soaker. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I. So it's an epidemic that's going on around the uh, probably the world. Yes. But I can, I can only really talk about the United States. Yeah. Why? Why is it? And we talked about this earlier today. Mm-hmm. If you follow my Facebook at all. Why does it seem that it's okay for the general public to look at a Google rating that's less than par? Yeah. A Yelp rating it's the same way. They walk into a lobby, they get treated like shit, they don't get greeted, they got an artist that's the most pompous piece of dog shit in the world It's going to tell them it takes three weeks to do a drawing of a compass that they're going to trace off of Google. <laughs> Charge them a ridiculous amount of money, and they go, "Yeah, sounds good." I don't know why that's I the case. I don't get it. I don't get it either. And these artists have full books, like they can't fit more clientele in their door. They got so booked and booked up for four months in advance of tracing Disney characters and jizzing watercolor all over it. Are they actually booked up, or is that what? You're, yeah, like, that's just what they're saying. No, that's a thing. I have a hard time believing that. Go yeah, on. it seems it seems a little far fetched, but I mean, they're not out there. Hey, I have time available, right? I mean, no, they're all books closed. Books closed. Twenty twenty. Anybody? There's could... a guy. Yeah. That literally stencils, fucking cheese ball mandalas with really bad animals next to it. On naked women who has a two-year waiting list. Like, literally traces mandalas. I just, that doesn't make sense. They're getting, their, they're getting their arm tattooed with no pants on. Oh, what? <laughs> this can't be real. Like, I, I, get, I get it, but it can't be real. Oh, it's real. Look up Joseph Hoffs. Oh. Look him up. I'm not buying it, dude. We live in a world, we live in an age where everybody's a liar. 
No, I'm not lying. Look it up. Not you. Oh, Googleize it. It's there. Sean from Texas. S E A N. That's seen, from, by the way. Yeah, from Texas, who lives in LA. Does jailhouse tattoos. And then I'm seeing them out an hour. Yeah. It has 45 bazillion thousand likes, and people are going, yeah. yeah you can, that looks. You can buy those, right? No, no, I got that. Yeah. But he has the comments as well. And it's not generic comments. Look it up. I'm telling you. It's not that I don't believe Look you. it up. It's I don't believe him. I don't believe seen. By the way, can I just say that really makes me mad when you spell your name that way and you say your name is Sean and it's like, it, no, it's not. J A Y. I get it. Whoa. Or Geoff? It's not Jeff. No. Bullshit. Who is Geoff? Geoff. Geoff and seen. Okay. Uh, I have the other people named Jeff. Okay, wait. There's a couple. There's a couple Jeffs that I'm like, all right, you you can live. Yeah. The rest of them. But when I say I make- yeah, <laughs> no, when I say their name, I spell it the right way in my head. Jeffs or Jeffs or Jeffs. Uh, you know what else I don't like? What Scott? Scott? I don't even know, really know a Scott, but I feel like Scott is weird. <laughs> Scott's yeah, it is a pretty fucked up name because it's either Scott or Kyle. Scotty. Scott. Kyle. I can hear Chad. 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 Chad Wick. Chad's the uh, douchey frat boy name. What about Johnny's? They're all douchebags. Johnny's, most of them. Yeah. Jahani? Jahani. Arabian Nights. Jahani. Jahani, nobody. I'm going to ride a fucking camel. Uh, look, I don't. I don't know how people produce bullshit yet get recognized because that's in everything though yeah Yeah. every industry yeah and i didn't want to come off as a crybaby i just don't get it i don't think you are though i think it's you're passionate about what you do you demand a certain work ethic from yourself you do you demand you have high standards within yourself and the people you surround yourself with that when you see the same not being reciprocated in the same industry it really it it lights a fire under you because it's just like there's no, it kind of, it's not making a mockery. That's not the right word to say. It's, uh, it's diminishing. Taking advantage of an industry that I worked my ass off for. Exactly. It diminishes the, the, not the value. Yeah, I guess the value, the value yeah. of the people that actually put in the, the real work. Like saying tat. Yeah. You get tatted. Yeah. Some sweet patties. You know, it's the same amount of fucking syllables to say it the right way. Tatted. You say no time. <laughs> Getting tatted with a the tattoo gun? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Sweet sweet body tats. Sweet body tats. The worst. That anyway. makes that makes me mad. I'm not I'm not even a tattoo like artist, and it makes me upset when people say tats. But you have enough tats to get pissed. I do have enough tats to get mad. <laughs> I've done my tat time. <laughs> yeah. Tat Tor. time. You got face tats. <laughs> tat time. <laughs> we should do a shirt called Tat Time. It's <laughs> where <laughs> tattooed guys looking over a fence. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> tat time. Tat time. My neighbor. <laughs> My neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> That's funnier than it should be. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's perfectly funny. <laughs> um, I don't know, dude. But anyway, I have an issue with that. I know I called a couple people out. I don't really care. So. Let them be called out. Go ahead. Make your money. They got voices. I get it, and I don't agree with it. They can talk back. But if it helps you feed your family and you can have a conscience, good luck. And if they hear this, you know what? In my opinion, a listen's a listen, so thanks. Yeah. Smash that subscribe button. <laughs> Hit the bell. Yeah, yeah, here's, Tell me how much you loved it. If you here, didn't love it, eh, I don't really care. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't know you. Your opinion means shit to me. <laughs> but in either case, drop a comment below. Yeah. Please. Smash that like button. <laughs> hit that subscribe. Any, Click below. Any attention is good attention. Right. There's a fine line between fame and infamy, yeah? Yeah, yeah I'd rather be. Really don't care. What, Joe Schmo, fucking hula dancer from fucking Alaska, Whoa. commenting about that I'm short and that I look funny is definitely not going to influence my day. Look, Joe Schmo, hula course, dancer. still thinking about it. Pretty no. good dude. No, I just came up with a whole scenario that might happen. Because when I say, ooh, I don't like your fucking Mandula tattoo, they're going to be like, hey, 
you're a dick. And I'm like, oh, that's great. I got, <laughs> yeah. I got another business to open. Excuse me while I walk over you. You're not wrong. <laughs> Trample the week, hurdle the dead. I don't, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? Trample the dead, hurdle the week, or trample the no, trample the week, hurdle the dead. I'm into that. Yeah. God, that's the toughest thing. You aren't on my level. Get yeah, out of my way. Hard. Yeah. What you made? Just a, get out of my way. You made a good point. You said that to me the, when I was in town last. We were sitting at your your dining room table. Yeah. And uh, you were telling me how like I tried to elevate people that might not be on my level. And that end up that, that ends up crashing and burning into me, yeah. and then I start falling from that crash and burn. Right. So that? really, if you don't want to be part of something, if you don't want to better something, if you don't want to make a situation better, if you can't build it up, then get the fuck out of my way. I like that. I got shit to do, and you're in my way. I love the fuck. Go get fit. Go get fit. I want to get fit. Fucking ride a bike, ride a bike. You, I don't give a fuck. Just get out of my way. <laughs> you make a valid point. I try. Yeah. I try to lead by example, too, by the way. I think you do a it's pretty good like job. It's not like a game that I don't fucking do. You do a really good job leading by example. Thanks, pal. Hey, I mean, you know, I look up to you. It's because uh, you're an inch shorter than me. You, I don't think that's right. It's totally right. Uh, I'm the giant in this brotherhood. I don't, I don't know about that. Speaking of which, tiny giants. Do you remember when your grandmother used to like have you pick up a gallon of milk and it made you feel like a fucking maniac? Yeah, hell yeah. Or like, you know those two gallon, two and a half gallon water things? Yeah. With a little spout? If I could... Like, oh, oh my God, you're so strong. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, man. That was a really good impression. Milk, bitch. <laughs> yeah, give me that milk, bitch. Yeah. Grandma. Yeah, I'm four. I don't give <laughs> a shit. I mean, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> she had it coming. <laughs> <laughs> she knows what she did. She knows what she did. Uh, well, damn, the man. The best part of you ended up on the tailgate of your father's truck. Oof. Oh. But I can lift a gallon of milk, so shut up, Grandma. <laughs> We're going deep. <laughs> I know this is supposed to be a podcast. Sorry, it turned into an event session. Let's, let's, I mean, that's all this is, really. Which is short for a session, wait, kind wait. of like tat. Tat sesh? Tat sesh. Tat sesh. It's like double lazy. Yeah. I can, mm-hmm. I can get used to speaking in abbreviations. Could you? Nah. Abbreviations only? Please don't. Abbreviations only. What else? Tat sesh. <laughs> and then, I don't know. I can't even think of other ones that would work. We, 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 we fo, we fo show. Fo show. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it either. I got a tat sesh fo show. Oh, show. Yo, A for F, though, right? A for F. <laughs> A for F, dog. A for F. Yeah, I think... You know what it is? It's the internet. The internet's made people lazy. Fuck the internet. Get off your phone. Put your headphones on. Listen no. to this fucking podcast. It's, it's yeah. Stop looking down. They're listening to the podcast on their phone, bro. Don't tell me to get off their No, phone. they have headphones. They yeah, all they, come with headphones. You buy a earbuds. phone and come with headphones. Put the, go for a walk. Put the headphones in. Go for a walk. Listen to our bullshit. It's Nazi dynamite. You have no idea. <laughs> it's Nazi dynamite. You got no idea. Go to the gym. Put this That's in the head. That's episode six. Get on board. Yeah. <laughs> Callbacks. The <laughs> Callbacks. Nazi dynamite. Nazi di- Wait, was that six or five? That was six. I don't even That's know six. anymore. What was it? Six? Man, you gotta keep up with the keep up. I try. Tat, Tat life. You don't even know. You don't even know. Hashtag twenty one. Hashtag um, Hashtag eleven twenty three. That was really inspiring, everything you just said. Speaking of inspiring <laughs> things. Our friend Mike. Is it? Yeah. Fucking take the Yeah, it was a great segment. Take the stairs. Don't take the fucking elevator. It means more at the top. Hey, I've been doing that lately. Yeah, you should. You I know why? It. I hate it. Makes your legs stronger. Yeah, but it sucks. Gonna... And on February 9th, I'm going to attempt to leg press a Toyota Corolla. You're really going to do that? I'm really going to do that. Wait, what? Yeah. How? Wait. Oh, God, you're going to... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to crush himself with a car. Right? Yeah. I'm not going to crush Should himself. Be fun. I'm going to leg, leg, leg press a Toyota Corolla. I'm not liable for that. <laughs> you don't have insurance anyway. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so it's not it's not that I doubt your ability. It's it's the people that are going to I mean, you're going to need help doing this. No, no, I got it. <laughs> what are you just going to crawl under the car and and push? Yes. yes. Yeah, this is going to work out real well. That's how that works. You're going to be here for it. Yeah, I can't lift a car. So. I'm actually going to leg press a Toyota Corolla in a first time cosplay costume. What are you going <laughs> to This is getting Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm awake right now. This is <laughs> You're awake. You heard me right. <laughs> I don't... I'm actually dressing up for this fucking shindig of shadows. What are you dressing up as? I can't tell you. No surprise? one knows you. It's a fucking secret, of course. Yeah. It's a fucking secret. Of course it is. Yeah. So y'all about it, though. It's a fucking secret. I'm not telling you anything. You're nothing about. else. No. Hey, I'm dressing up. That's all you get. You don't need any more. First time for everything. You got to come out. Like, you got to come out to 36 Black and see what he dresses up as. And then he lift a car with his legs. Well, or yeah. die under a or car. Die. You like yeah. a, what's the big deal? People do it all the time. What's a, the big deal? It's a car on your body. Well, I just leg pressed 705. That's not a Toyota Corolla. Ten times. Oh. All I need to do this is once. Yeah, okay, but you got to think. <laughs> That's the problem. That's not the problem. <laughs> How did you? A Toyota Corolla weighs 2,800 pounds. Which is a little bit I'm, different from seven. Wait, I'm lifting up half of it. Okay. If I can do 705 10 times, surely I could do 14 once. So how did you do the 7 or 710 or 705 or whatever you, whatever you said? Math. So. <laughs> but no. Yeah, I get how you made the uh, – okay, you said you just – That's how that works. You did you the – You add plates, then that's math, and you add those up, and that's how you get there. Yeah, but how did you physically accomplish this feat? With my legs, stupid. Oh, Jesus Christ. Haven't we Christ. gotten through this yet? <laughs> I leg pressed weight. I know what part of your then body. Then I add those plates. That's a number. That's how I get to that point. Okay, let me ask where. Where did you do this? What do you mean? In the gym. Okay, that's what I'm getting at. It was a machine at the gym designed yeah, leg for leg. Machine. Exactly. That's not a car. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> this machine is designed to help you accomplish this task. You're just climbing. You're just crawling under a car and pushing. Right, it's I'm crawling li- under a leg press machine and pushing. All right, what's the difference? A, f- a lot of things. <laughs> right, yeah. When I ran out of weight room on the actual machine, I put humans on top of it and lifted it. Then I, I don't doubt that you can do the weight. It's just the 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 physics, the physics of the car. It's gravity, Isaac Newton. You're a smart guy. I don't know how you don't understand this. You lift it up, it comes back down. <laughs> Yeah, I get that part. Oh, what part did you not understand? Just the leverage of it all. Like, the car is taller than I am on my back, and then I push with my legs. Hey, look, I'm going to trust you in this. Uh, I I know know you can do it. I'm not. I'm pretty (laughs) sure it's going to end terribly. Uh, Well, her name (laughs) here. Yeah, I know you can do it. That's that is pretty impressive. In, in theory, <laughs> it sounds like he might be able to do it, but just the what do you mean, fucking possible? A VCK, a VCK. <laughs> I do that shit. Dot com. Smash the subscribe button. Hit that. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know the bell. Called. It's a bell. Hit the bell. <laughs> Ding dong. Leave <laughs> your comment at the end. <laughs> Holler at your boy. Yeah. Johnny Soapbox. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here to lift your cop. Here to lift your cup. <laughs> I'm here to put it down. <laughs> Have a good day. I'm wearing a costume. Enjoy the festivities. <laughs> <laughs> so what what time is this happening at? The car part? I don't know. You're when just, I feel spunky enough. Yeah. <laughs> just Besides, gonna... it's car lifting time. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Soapbox, here. Yeah? Let me check the oil. And then I'll go do it. All it's right. easy. It's yeah. easy, yeah. Yeah. It's not going to be easy. It's a personal goal. I want to do it. Whatever. No, I know. It's not like I'm lifting my truck. I mean, that'd be impressive, too. But I, regardless, it's going to be impressive. I'm just... I don't think your legs reach to the <laughs> No, they won't. <laughs> but when I lifted the truck, when I put a lift on the truck, I didn't use a jack. I used my back. I lifted the bed up by myself and put the shims under it. Jesus Christ. 
No, me. Just because he thought he could. Jesus <laughs> Christ wasn't even around. <laughs> yeah, all me. Nothing I to do with it. I didn't pray ahead of time. Nothing good. Happened. Like, there's no, like, weird lightning bolt thing. I did it by myself. With diet and exercise. And math. And and math. math. <laughs> Don't forget the math. Because <laughs> that shit's important. I just feel like we should have a plan B if something does go wrong. It's nine one one. Got it. We got it. We got it. Right. Plan B done. I don't. I, what comes after that? Oh, so he didn't see. do it. He's to be half. to be fair, so call somebody. <laughs> Get a jack. I don't know. There's a list of things you could have already thought about. Plan right. B. I'll figure, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Keep a jack handy. Keep a and jack. And maybe handy. some rubber gloves to clean up the slop. Oh no, he's inside out. You know what I do need to do? I do need to take a giant <laughs> shit right beforehand. Because if I blow mud all over that fucking parking lot under that Toyota Corolla, I'm going to the fucking mud. Holy shit, all underneath that car. Yeah. I think I would blow out through pants. Like, I don't know if there's any warranty on my food of the loom, but those things are going to be exploding. Make the ass under that costume extra sturdy. Yep. So when we see you head to the bathroom, we should all know, all right, this, this is about to get real. And, yes. And go prepare. Light, go prepare. Light the torches. What? I don't know. You got to light the parking lot somehow, right? Is that where it's happening? I think it would be even better if everyone just used phone lights. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> just do it in the dark, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I support you in all your endeavors. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good luck and Godspeed. Yeah. That's such See a it? bad idea. Uh, no. I agree. I mean, it's not a great idea. Can you do it? Yes. Should you yes. do it? Probably not. But that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. It Just means I it. set a goal and I did it. I was accountable for my goals. Yeah. Segway. But some some of you some of us don't want to see you get flattened. But yeah, talk about more like goal being goal oriented. So be goal oriented. What do you want to do with your life? Now do that. I'm doing the reason it. I say shit on the internet. Yeah. Is so I'm accountable for it. That makes sense. You know what? If I don't do the Toyota Corolla leg press this time, I will do it. Yeah, I know you will. I said I would do it, so now I have to do it. That makes sense. Yeah, so I'd rather not be called out and say, oh, I thought you were going to do that. Well, motherfucker, I did it. You weren't watching. That's not a common trait in most. you were looking down on your phone, not fucking paying attention. Most people do the thing where they say they're going to do it, and that's enough for them, and they never end up doing it. That's like a... a, They just want attention. Yeah. It's It's like weird Facebook attention. It's weird. It is weird. Shallow. It's I have false. a lot of good friends of mine that talk to their dead relatives on Facebook. Really? Yeah. Like it's their Facebook pages? Fucking, yeah. yeah. It's like, hey. That's bizarre. Dad, I miss you. Your dad's dead. You don't got Facebook, man. Yeah, you can't log in <laughs> like, anymore. Who are you talking to right now? You're talking to a million people that you want to be like, oh, I'm really sorry your dad died. Yeah. That's actually exactly what it is. Yeah. I, oh, I know that. Yeah. But I just think it's so weird that... Friends of mine, and all of you, I love you, but you, your parents are dead. They don't have Facebook anymore. Like, stop saying you miss them. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that one. Dad, really wish you were here. He didn't get the message. <laughs> or if you're going to say Grandma, it, do it on How your... I miss you. Here's me holding your dead hand. <laughs> Why do you do that? That is fucking weird. Why are you holding your grandmother's dead hand on the Facebooks? Ugh. Really miss you. Wish you were here. She can't hear you. She's dead. It yeah, doesn't, isn't it, isn't it just as valuable just to say like, Hey, I miss my grandma. I think that's amazing. Yeah. And I'd be like, man, I'm sorry you miss your grandma. Right. I bet she was awesome. But there's no show to that. There's no flair. You there's gotta no have flair. Go do it. We're living in the no day and age. Smash that. No, you can't smash that button. You can't, you can't hit your likes or choose whatever little face emoji you want. So don't say things for attention. Say things cause it's the right thing. Say things because you want to inspire somebody. Nah, you make it sound too easy. It is easy. I want everyone that's in my immediate circle to be fucking awesome, amazing, in every form and facet they can be. If you want to be great at fucking Scrabble, I wish you the best. You better work for it, because I'm going to come with that triple better score. Fucking dominate! But, you know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah, I'm a terrible speller. That's never going to happen for me. I know, but you know what I'm saying. Like, no, I totally you want to be great at whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. And if you're in my immediate circle, I'm going to do everything in my power to make you the best person, version of yourself you can be. But don't 
fucking hold your breath because I'm busy doing my shit. Yeah. Makes sense. I think what he's saying is just go crush it. Whatever the fuck it is you want to do. Just crush that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Don't hold back. I learned about three different countries today. Wait, what? In betwixt doing marketing. In betwixt thinking about this next power move that might happen in March. I learned three things about three different countries. All right, go. Um, Ghana, Africa is the most poisonous place on the face of the planet due to all the electronics being shipped there. Really? Um, by U.S. and Germany and Switzerland. All the bad refrigerators, they yeah. get on a fucking shipping uh, – cont- like, they get put in a shipping container and shipped to Ghana, Africa, where they do child labor, where they like burn, like toxically burn the wires to get the copper out of them. Oh, shit. So in the shipping container, there's supposed to be 30 – let's say you have 35 refrigerators in a shipping container. Five of them work. The rest don't. So it's like a front for the bad stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like the trade thing is that you have to have working appliances. But they'll put like five in the back. They test those. Those work awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. In Ghana? So then they get shipped off to this place in Ghana, Africa. And the sky is black because they burn all the plastic, styrofoam, rubber, all that shit with like their T-shirt over their mouth. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Insane, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. It's not good. No. And all these kids are like, <coughs> I made 20 cents today. Damn it. Good job, kid. Good job, kid. And he sends that money to his parents that live not near him. I'm sad now. Did you learn anything happy about other countries today? <laughs> yeah. What? Because we're off to a so terrible this start. Guy in British Columbia that is trying, 19 years old, from California, pours concrete five days a week, and is trying to become the world record holder in slacklining. So and the, the largest slacklining thing currently is 150 meters unharnessed. Okay. What the slacklining? Slacklining, it's like a uh, strap, like a nylon strap. Mm-hmm. It's like a tightrope. It's like tightrope walking, yeah. but it's with a little bit more boing, boing, boing. Oh. Yeah. So he's going through these cliffs in British Columbia. Lar- largest so far world record four years ago was 150 meters. And that's his goal, unharnessed. So what? is there like a danger element here, or do you, does he just like stretch it four feet off the ground and just does it? Oh, no. 150 meters across, like... 300 meters down. Ah, uh, okay. That does change things a bit. You die if you fuck yeah. that up. I mean, you're tethered by your, like, belt. Yeah, that's going to so snap your back. You fall a good 10 feet, and then you got to figure out how to get back up on that thing and then get going again. Yeah. He, said that, that. he says it's freedom. Wait, so he's he's tethered but not harnessed? Is that what we're talking about? Right. Like, most people have, like, a full har- like body harness and all that. Oh, okay, stuff. gotcha. Like a safety wire. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no okay. safety wire. All right, British Columbia. Yeah, get it. Crush yeah. it. Crush it. Smash and then, that then I learned how to install a third battery in my car. Because two is just not enough. What country is that from? You said countries. Is that America? British, British Columbia. Yeah. Africa. Africa. The United States. United States. All right. Shit. Way to go, man. Thanks, pal. Uh, so why a third battery in your car? Um, because I drive a bit of a bug-out vehicle. Have you not seen the amount of lights on the front of his truck? He has yeah. all of the lumens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw that. I had a hard time getting in that thing. So the third battery is because it, ha- it will have an air compressor, a welder, a generator, and other assorted things that I might need for that time. And another fire. <laughs> another fire. And another fire. Yikes. Or you should tell him about zapping yourself on Tom's battery. Hey. Oh, I electrocuted this shit out of myself. Close the, the circuit. Let's let's talk more about that. Okay, so Tom says, Yeah. who, in his defense, is not a car guy. There's a lot of people that aren't car guys. Yeah. In the same sense that I am a car guy. So, yeah. because everyone knows that about me, like Angel's brake lights yesterday. Yeah. But like, it's like, hey, uh, I think my battery terminal's 
Well, he said something different that's like not it. The battery clampy things. He said something the <laughs> equivalent you know to that. Bad? <laughs> right? He goes, how do you know if they're bad? I was like, well, is there corrosion? He goes, yeah. <laughs> but he song? says, yeah, like Shaun of the Dead said, yeah. Like, is it bad out there? Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like he already knew. Yeah. So, he didn't want right. to tell you. <laughs> So I open up the hood. It's two toxic blueberry raspberry snow cones yeah. sitting on top of his battery. <laughs> so then I go to clean these things off, which wasn't easy, and it burned a little, yeah. but I was fine. And then I went to loosen the terminals, you know, the battery clampy thingies. Yeah. And as I loosened the negative one, the actual lead post from the battery came off in the terminal. <laughs> Is how bad it was corroded, so it was actually like fused to the terminal itself uh that's good so then when i grabbed because i would not let it drop on the battery and then short something out i then tried to take the positive off when i did the headlights came on and (laughs) electricity shot out of my elbow and i have a pain in my chest but it's cool (laughs) still went to the gym this morning i still did my shit 75 push-ups 100 pull-ups was good yeah a little heart palpitation but he's gonna make it that's (laughs) <laughs> and then and then you thought about lifting a car with your legs no i've already thought about oh, okay that. how many volts do you think went through you All not that many yeah yeah because i've been really electrocuted before where my fingernails turned black and fell off <laughs> it didn't feel like that at all how did how that it happen? was more like a, uh, <clears throat> yeah. and then i said hey can you go get me some gloves and i made an excuse that my hands were a little hot and when he walked away, I shook them like a child that just... They got electrocuted you know. by a battery, car battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just like that. Good yeah. times. Uh, hey, well, new battery installed. Well, congrats, Tom. For getting he's, he's getting tattooed right now. Like, he's getting tattooed? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. What's he yeah, getting? Crazy times. Who's, who's doing I, this? I got chicken. Chicken? Chicken from... Hey. Hey, hey, from Moana. Hey, getting a Disney tattoo. Hey, oh. hey, from Moana. That's cool. I've seen Is that this? movie 35 times. Yeah, Bane loves that movie. Sweet. Have you never seen it? You get a chicken tattoo on you. You're here. welcome. No, if I got a Moana tattoo, I'd get those little coconut guys. You wouldn't get a Moana tattoo. One, two. I'm just saying, hypothetically speaking, if I had to pick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd get one of the coconut. Anyway, uh, tell us... <laughs> How you electrocuted yourself so bad that your fingernails turned black and fell off? Because oh, it seems like there, there at might one be a time story in my there. life I was a plumber. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Plumbing shouldn't involve electricity. Just right. So, right so I was pushing a piece of copper pipe through a floor joist. Yeah. And when I I had to use some force, and I went back with it, it actually went through the back end of a circuit panel. <laughs> Yeah, and copper's not known for being super conductive or anything. No, not at all. Yeah. Anyway. Why did it turn your fingernails black? Why is that a side effect of like a severe shock? I don't, when I got my knuckles lasered off like my tattoos, Yeah. all my hair turned white. That kind of makes more sense though. Does it? I don't know, yeah. My fingernails turn black. I can't help what my body does. Mm, I feel like you... You really wanted to. Yeah, I could wish it away, right? Yeah. <laughs> Pray Please on. don't turn off. Please don't turn black. Please don't turn black. Yeah. Fuck. Um, <laughs> great. <laughs> More goals. Is that what we were talking yeah. about before we started talking about you? Don't get electrocuted. Making yourself Frankenstein's monster? Yes. Sweet. Pet peeve. Why do people call it Frankenstein? Because they're not educated enough to know that the doctor's Frankenstein and the monster's the monster. What if the monster had a name? Ah, uh, I would have named him. Douglas. No, like an actual like name, Alfred, like Boris. Yeah. I don't think they put one in the book, but I mean, he's a multi-pieced humanoid, so each piece had a different name. You can't just you. What you do is take the first letter of every name of the person each body part came from and build a name off that. Geoff. Geoff. So the legs came from George. The torso came from Eric. The 
Legs. Wait, did I say Oscar. legs? Oscar. Yeah. And then Frank Fred, and Felix. Ferdinand. Yeah. There we go. Geoff. Done. Geoff Frankenstein. The third. The third. <laughs> Depending on how many pieces, really. <laughs> Geoff Frankenstein the third. Hey, what are we doing with uh, Mike? Remember that conversation that I didn't remember? Mike from Homesick Tattoo? Yeah. So, you might be interested in this, hmm. Mr. Phone Guy. I am. No, of course not. Yeah. I'm trying to make space so I can record more shit. Oh, gotcha. Fuck anyway, yeah. um, so we're thinking about doing something, a little TED Talks mm-hmm. mixed with industry standard how would i word that um industry standard industry like a convention <sighs> yeah but a convention of entrepreneurs with like-minded trades what do they call that why can't i think of that it, it's a uh a seminar yeah there you go Tattoo seminars. Um, and it's about a group of people, if you will, that are holding each other accountable yeah. for decisions and making, one, our industry better, yep. two, our human nature better, yeah. I suppose. Can, you know, building a stronger human being that's not dependent on other people. Which is huge. Yeah. Because conventionally, you know, people in said industry are seen as ne'er do wells, and uh, you know, right? People, the people of less value that refuse to do things for themselves and wait for people to do things for them. This isn't for you. Yeah, this is this is weeding you out. Yeah, these are the people that have a goal, want a goal, and work for their goal, and we can share ideas to make all the goals and be work. You unif- unified, yeah, driven sure. in a unified way, and not just for tattoo. I mean, tattooing's obviously first in my book. Yeah, but like it could be, I want to be an art gallery owner. Mm-hmm. I want to be a furniture collector. Whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, but obviously, tattooers that have the right mindset, not the tattooers that you know strippers and me, that kind of thing yeah if you want to be, that's fine if you're into that i'm just saying like it seems like work. it's it's re it's basically rebranding the uh the the social outlook on the industry yeah exactly instead of instead of seeing a bunch of people heavily tattooed that you think are just like criminals and you know dick bags it you'll here's an opportunity to see people of the same elk but being overly beneficial to human. Yeah, kind. exactly. Like Angel's a great example. It's funny that, you know, I didn't tell him I was going to say this, but like he's here at 10, 15, 10 30 every morning. Oh, yeah. We open at 11. Yeah. He stays not all the time to close, but he's a father. Yeah. And he drives an hour one way. Holy shit. Yeah. I wake up at 5 30 in the morning to start marketing before I go to the gym before I end up at work at about 8.30 and stay till 8.30, 9 o'clock and then finish marketing till I fall asleep. Yeah. So I'm at a 16, sometimes 17 hour work day and it's because I love it and I love achieving the next goal but at the same time, I'm leaving a legacy. Yeah. And whether it even is to my kids, who everyone knows Maddie that works here, even if it's to the people that I surround myself with, because I call them family as well, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. If I die tomorrow, people know how I wanted this place run. It's up to them and their moral compass whether they do it the right way or not. Yeah. But, same concept. Well, yeah, man. See, and that's that's... A part of what went through my mind laying on the, uh, you know, the, the, whatever, the table, getting my face tattooed. Cause yeah. you, you provided me an opportunity to do what I love doing in an industry that I've been, you know, pretty obsessed with, like 
from my first tattoo on. Like I've surrounded myself with tattoo artists and tattoo culture. And it was just like, you gave me this opportunity through everything you're building to build something bigger than myself and anything that I could imagine previously. So getting our logo branded on my face, every time I look in the mirror, it reminds me of what the goal is, what, what the mission is. Right. So it's like, I can't avoid being reminded of the bigger picture at this point. Lights on the side of my head. Yeah. I get it. I can't look, yeah, I can't look in the mirror without it if, looking back if, at me. You have 18 usable hours in a day. What are you doing with yours? And if your answer was Fortnite, you have the wrong answers. Okay, mine's Skyrim, so I'm, I'm good. Well, you're saving the world from something, I imagine. Yeah, dragons. I'm trying uh, to... <laughs> <it's> <laughs> basically Game of Thrones, but... But video. here's the thing, is I don't mind the escape. I don't think 18 hours a day is for everyone. Yeah. Some people need the recharge. Somebody, some people need the ability to reset, to have better ideas where my brain won't allow me to stop until that goal is conquered and then I can move on to the other thing. Yeah, to be fair, you're a different kind of creature than most. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's not a lot of people that are cut like that. Like, I kind of launch out of bed in the morning and I kind of don't stop until, um, like, I'm done Yeah. with whatever I'm doing, you know? For sure. But a lot of people, a lot of people just don't really cut like that. Yeah. No, and that's, I get it. I totally understand. I get that my mentality but mind you my mentality wasn't like this all the time my mentality was i just want to go ride motorcycles and forget the world exists now i ride my bike to work your bicycle my, i ride my bicycle to work but i ride my motorcycle to work i you know, i take a two-hour walk because i needed that's my reset my legs are going to keep moving regardless whether i'm you know whatever so it's just an easier way for me to reset or for me to catalog the day. Like that is the rest. Yeah. Yeah. But everything I do is there's three parts to typically, or no less than three parts is, you know, I'm resting, I'm activating, I'm executing, I'm accomplishing three goals in one. So me walking to work two hours, 11.6 miles in 16 different directions to make sure I can get here without a GPS. (laughs) Well, that just did four fucking things. One, it built stamina. Two, I know where the fuck I am, even though I was with a bag over my head. So it does other things, but I get it. I think someone, normal people, should should work 12 hours a day. And when they're not at work, like physically, they should be thinking about how to make that better. And not, maybe not work. Like if you work at a fucking city fucking city hall last fucking thing i think about is work yeah but if you're a business owner entrepreneur there's no reason why you shouldn't be thinking about making things better i think i have a -a one-of-a-kind facility here that's for sure and every day i think of how i can make it better well people get comfortable and that comfort brings being complacent about stuff yeah so there you know and especially people that like find a little bit of success or um you know, are able to do something that they don't have to you know, work for somebody else for, you know, that, that, that level of comfort only breeds more complacency. Yeah. And before, great. you know, people that don't have to do nothing but a couple hours a day only will do anything for just a couple hours a day and then they'll call it. Like, well, I'm done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or settling for good enough. Yeah. Yeah. That's always, that's, that's, I think that's the biggest downfall is settling for good enough. You get to a point and you're like, all right, that's good. I'm happy. And then you stop yeah. instead yeah. of, instead of seeing the potential that lies beyond and just developing something that you, that previously did not exist. Which like you said, yeah. what you built with 36 black, dude, who the fuck are you texting? Uh, sorry. <laughs> I was setting up an appointment yeah see i'm ignoring my tinder matches to do this ain't nobody swiping on you wait is it left or right i've always wondered that left is a no-go 
right? Is right, is, yes, dude. And you well, know what? Since you got that sweet face, Taddy, it's yeah. been way more right, dude. All day. <laughs> Actually, it's not. You know, <laughs> scary, it kind of scares people away at this point. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> A lot of a lot of the reaction has been like, so so are you are you gonna get more? I'm like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you don't just do this one and stop like this is a commitment. But uh, I'm noticing something. I'm having what? a hard time relating to people now. After the face tattoo? Not not after the face <laughs> tattoo. Just like you know, yeah, I ruined tattoo. you. Yeah, you ruined. It is partly your fault. Because if I don't, if I'm not talking to somebody that can at at bare minimum match my drive, I kind of lose all interest in them existing in my field of vision. Hundred percent. Yeah. One hundred percent. That makes life a little difficult, like social life, a little difficult. Not you know what it doesn't do after you get used to that? What? Because people like myself who are very much that way. Yeah. If you have nothing to offer my future. I really have nothing to do with you. Yeah. That's and new for me. It could be a positive conversation and that's enough for me to be friends with you. Yeah. But if I notice right away, you have nothing like it gets so easy and you have way more time to destroy things like in a positive way. Yeah. Like that's... conquer things because you realize really quick. Most of the people in the world aren't on your level. Dude, it's weird. Yeah. If you don't want to be part of it, walk out of my way. Yeah. And those people don't waste your time anymore. Yeah. Like the people that want to talk about bullshit like from seven years. That was seven years ago. Like eight years ago. Like, hey, remember that? To- no. Great. No. <laughs> like that, that people might, who want to take well pictures with celebrities. Yeah. People want to take their picture with me all the time. Yeah. What the fuck are you going to do with that picture? It's going to sit in your phone and take up data? Just remember me. Why was that important? <laughs> you remember, you want me to sign your T-shirt, you dummy. You're gonna watch a T-shirt. <laughs> I mean, you make a valid point. I've just never been starstruck like that. Don't sign my shit. Don't sign my shit. I'm not gonna take a picture with you, so you can tell people. That's what goes along with that whole Facebook attention thing. Yeah. You think it posted on Facebook, so you can say, "Look, I knew Whitney Houston when." Who gives a fuck? Something. She's dead. Your phone took up data. Now you got five thousand three hundred twenty-six pictures. Of shit that won't matter. Wait, you still dead? Yeah. Huh? Well, yeah. you didn't know that. No. No, yeah, she. she I think she cocaine, died, right? Yeah, like in a bathtub yeah. too. She like passed out and drowned or something like that. Yeah. Oh shit! Because of the cocaine. The cocaine. The yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But you know what I mean. Totally know what you mean. Like I like taking pictures with you and being like, "This is my bro." Like, yeah. Celebrate that shit. Yeah. I take pictures of people that I'm around. Do that. People do that shit with celebrities. Oh my God, your eyes is black. Let me take your picture. For what? <laughs> Don't waste the data. Data. You say data or data? I, I say data. Data? Data. You say know. data or data? Because both ways. Data. You're wrong. It's data. Well, I mean, I'm a, <laughs> I, I used to love Next Generation, so Star Trek. I was going to say, I think data is a person. Whoa. <laughs> Tread lightly. Trek lightly. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. No, you can't love both. You can't love both. No. Get out of my building. No. You can't love yeah. both. Who? Only next generation. No next generation. The only next generation you should be talking about is a tattoo machine. Wow. <laughs> you mean tattoo gun? Yeah, tattoo gun. Tatty zapper. zapper. <laughs> you still know the difference. You, there's a difference between Star Wars and Star Wars. We could do this all day long. You did. I know there's. There's a one that's an imposter that shouldn't have ever existed, and there's one that's awesome. Yeah. Right. And I'm only saying referring awesome as four, five, and six, not one, two, and three. I understand. Yeah. Although. Whoa. No, no. Whoa. Here, have you watched? Trek lightly here. Have you watched the Clone Wars animated show? Come on. Do you want, bro, what? bro, that's good. No. I don't even care. You know why that's I good. Don't? That's I good. Shit to do. Does Johnny look like he watches cartoons? Okay, look, I sit at a computer way more than you do, so I need something in the background to keep like my brain from turning to mush. I have watched Family Guy, Star Wars. That's good. Yeah. That's a good one. But that's it. Which is surprising because you don't watch cartoons. What well, was in my car? I remember. So yeah. I watched it in my car, <laughs> but you know. I don't even care. Clone Wars? Clone Wars is the shit. 
Come on, dude. No, you can't say that. Like when I you, can't. Watch you, me. You get to see Buckle Darth Maul. Darth Maul Buckle come back as a spider robot get creature work. thing. I know you're 11 years old. Get to work. What are you doing <laughs> with your life? Get a haircut. Get a real job. <laughs> My first job, I was 13. Washing dishes at the Royal Diner I'm standing for $2.35 by an hour. And you had to walk uphill 10 miles both directions. And I ate belly button lint, for fuck's sake. Backwards. But no shoes. No, that was a real thing, though. Royal Diner, washing dishes, $2.35 an hour. Eating belly button At 13. Eating butt, <laughs> belly button lint. No, it's New York City. It's flat. <laughs> it's flat. It's no hills. I mean, there's a big rock in Central Park, but that doesn't count. There's nothing on top of it. Except the zoo. There's a zoo. There's a rock. I don't know. You know what I mean, though. No, I've never been there. Those animals got to be pretty depressed. It sounds depressing. Yeah. It's the only place in the world where the bums throw shit at monkeys. <laughs> Instead of the other Wait, way around. the only place in the world? Yeah, the only place that I care about. Yeah, no, no, that makes sense. Uh, anyway. Yeah, we touched on all that. Hey, so tell me about Angel. What about him? I don't Wait, know. You said you said he was here and it was going to be like a get to know him thing. We did all that. No, he was just joking. Oh. Yeah. All right. I'm I not, just meant he was sitting in. I was looking forward to it, but whatever. This is Angel Caravaggio. He likes being on camera now. That's not true. <laughs> it's, not it's warming true. up to me. I'm warming up to it. Though. Yeah, because you don't even realize it's there anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not even. I'm not thinking about it anymore. Well, you shouldn't think about it. It's your face. You know no, when you yeah. wake up and brush your teeth. I don't want to look at that shit. That's your face. face. But that's it. Uh, hey, all respect to you. I didn't do it either until recently. Yeah. I couldn't do this by myself, which I can do now. Yeah. I could because I was always worried about what people thought. Yeah. Or how I'm gonna come off. Yeah. yeah. How? Yeah. That's that's. This that's is who really, I am. Yeah. You don't like it? Oh, it's, it's like a dick. I don't give a fuck. Like, you know what the challenging like, part is too is that is making it a habit that's what i'm yeah, having yeah. a hard time you don't necessarily need content yeah that's the tricky part it's being you present. don't need content tell people about your day be interesting yeah Exist. you're not interesting learn how to be interesting like there's other things wrong with you like i always said that about people who drink yeah and people are drinking around me why am i so fucked as a human that you can't just be normal around me you have to drink or get drunk to be around people. Yeah. Now, I know that's some straight-edge rhetoric shit, but I'm saying it makes the sense. same concept applies. If you're not interesting, figure out how to be interesting. Right. Yeah, if you don't like something about you're yourself, really intelligent. fucking fix it. Yeah. And I didn't know you were intelligent until I talked to, to you about stuff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what, I'm say- what I'm saying is that like you have plenty to say, and you don't sound like a fucking... Yeah, yeah. You have brain cells that aren't fighting. It's nice. So you have something to say. So just say that. Yeah. You could talk about anything. Talk about how my floor is brown. Whatever. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, the floor is brown. But who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck about anyone that's going to talk, comment to you? Ooh, you're tall. Who gives a fuck? What are they going to say about you? I don't like your facial hair. I don't like your nose. It doesn't give a fuck. They don't (laughs) care your life. Damn, bro. <laughs> Not your nose. <laughs> that was your response to the other guy. Yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, now fuck your nose. Yeah. He didn't like your facial hair. And because, like your at the, face. because at the end of the day, if you live a certain lifestyle, you know you're doing your absolute best to be the best human being you can do. No one can touch you at that point. Yeah. No one can touch you. We'd be like, oh, you're fat. Well, I'm working on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're not. You don't make enough money. Well, I'm working towards it. You don't have this. I'm doing the best I can for me. No one can touch you at this point. You're untouchable in life if you're working towards a goal. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Period. Fucks with me. I got you. That's yeah. powerful. Hey, did you just answer your Tinder? No. What? I I, what barely, I barely. Bro, what moved. are you looking down at right now? Is she cute? Let's see. What is that? What are you doing under there? It's the top of a you microphone. That, you put that over your your danker? Is that your is that your penis wolfer? Yeah. Look, I didn't I didn't think we were gonna be venturing down that path, but yeah. Nazi dynamite. Nazi dynamite. Handheld <laughs> <laughs> dysentery. Handheld dysentery. That's what this one because I didn't I, we meant to do that on the last episode and I didn't call it that. So this one yeah. this one could be handheld dysentery. 
right on. I love it. It's Nazi dino. Because apparently I said a bunch of dysentery out of my mouth today. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. I just said a bunch of shit that probably pissed a lot of people off. So? But guess what? I don't give a fuck. Get out of my way. That. Can we get the uh, Oregon Trail theme song on there? <laughs> <laughs> and insert here? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I can find it. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. We can, man, we so can... we all have openings in February. Yeah, hit them with that. Everybody. So, book. Because it's smart. Call the shop. 321-247-5346. I was waiting for you to finish that the phone number. Like ad lib the phone number. I, uh, I still need to oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear you a bit back. really rocking out to System of a Down right now. <laughs> Check out who? Um, yeah. 321-247-5346. You can email us at 30, the number 6 black at gmail.com. My Instagram is nobody tattoos, T9 tactical, fuck impossible. It's F B C K impossible. Angel, yeah. What's your shit? Uh, just come into the studio. Fucking see me. We'll what's your email? Tattoos. Crack a um, Carabello dot angel at yahoo dot com. Spell that because I wouldn't spell it. Nobody, there. yeah, nobody's gonna spell that right. C A R A B A. Yeah. L O O. Nice. You were so close, bro. No, I, I was waiting. It's like it's the phone number. I was adding it. Uh, <laughs> Caraballo. Yeah, that. That's the only way I remembered it because I used to call him Ello. Ello. Yeah. Like Carabello, but it's Caraballo. Caraballo. Yeah. yeah. I think it's actually something similar to like Carabayo, but like I'm like a spick bastard. Whoa. Yeah, which means that like <laughs> no, you can say that. Spanish you can say descent that. and don't know my father nor speak Spanish, just to clarify Dang. by definition. It, his people came from next door to us. Yeah. And then we have uh, Jab Inc., who is. Um, creative edge C R. How does he do that? Create C R E eight. Yeah. If I V E E D G E at Hotmail. What the fuck? Even that's so okay. Yeah, I forgot Hotmail. Like that's a fucking thing. thing. Yeah. Still. Jab. J, J, Jab. JB still has it. <laughs> wow. We got Scuff. We got Maddie. Nobody. We've got. I think it's the next nobody. The next nobody, but she, she Maddie. You can find us. 36 Black Instagram. You yeah. can find all of us. Also, uh, the end of February, 36 Black UK. There's a bunch of openings. That's Tattoos by Woo or Woo Tattoos. Um, There's some Brits who listen to this. Dark Soul. Yeah. And then JoJo Kind. It's not JoJo Kind. It's Ink and David, but like the way she writes it. Yeah. Uh, we have Janelle, which is Amira Tattoos. We have Zeke. Oh, yeah. Ezekiel Pearson. Pearson. We have Tom Hustis with an H. A silent H. Eustace. Silent H. Tom Hustis. Yes. We have Arcama. I already said Arcama. Oh, and we have Rufus. And Rufus. And we have, Rufus. We have Bitter Green, the Hoop Witch. We have Tahani. Tahani. Serious Punk. Serious Shredded Serious Dreams. Punk. Serious Lee Punk. Serious Lee Punk. Serious Lee Punk. And Shredded Dreams. And Shredded Dreams. We have the Art of... Art of Me 36B. Art of Me 36B. Is Michelle's World's oldest movie. apprentice. Yep. It's it's true. Real. True, true words haven't been spoken. Yeah. And we have Rev J. Leal. Oh, hey. Who's that? Rev J. Leal. It's me. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Angel. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you can say it twice. <laughs> uh, hey, yo. Fuck yeah, man. I'm working on this fucking website. I hate those. I hate. I hate them. Web doc. Mm. Don't use web dot com. Don't Lesson learned. Handheld dysentery. Handheld dysentery. Handheld dysentery. I use Weebly for all mine and do it right on my phone. Weebly. I like yeah, WordPress. Weebly. Ain't no product placement right now. Oh, well, right, right. <laughs> Thirty six black cast. Smash yeah. that subscribe right, button. Ding that like fart thing. Ding the like fart thing. With, like it. Subscribe yeah. to it. Kill it. Destroy it. Yeah, go find all the Conquer YouTube the channels. days. Fucking yeah. possible. Be on the lookout for March. Big fucking things are happening. Yep. Um, yeah. Leg press on a fucking Toyota Corolla. Dominate. February 9th, man. Shit's gonna happen. Crush or be crushed. Yeah. Society of Shadows. If you don't want to be... It's, it's Shadow the Dark of society. society. Shadow, shadow of Society. Hot Why would you call that? Jim Bones. Zeke. He's got blonde bangs. Anyway. <laughs> it's true. Anyway... February 9th, come on out. It's going to be a big thing. 
I heard there's free beer. There's free beer for anyone over 21. And That's... no, Jay, you can't pay for it if you're under 21. <laughs> that was my joke, man. It was funny until you did that. It was a good joke. <laughs> you ruined it. <laughs> but anyway, be accountable for your shit. If you're not with me, you get the fuck out of my way. If you want to be with me and hang out, say some cool shit. Let's do some cool tattoos. I have availability as well. Oh, shit. Michael Patrick will be here on the 29th. Michael Patrick will be here on the 29th. Michael Patrick Tattooist on Instagram. Yes, he'll be here January 29th and 30th. He has open availabilities both days right now. He's probably going to tattoo me again. It's going to be good fucking times. Incredible artist. Incredible dude. Junior philosopher. I think we should do another live broadcast. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. What the? Sorry. Fuck yeah, man. There, I was thinking again. Sorry. Right. How dare you? I just, right, I just guys. naturally assumed we were going to do that. Kill it. Destroy Kill it. it. Crush it. Until next time, 36 Love podcast. You fuckers. Overlord Johnny Nobody. You don't have to say my name so soft. You can put a little tough on something. Oh, Dark Lord J. Leo. Angel. Overlord Johnny Nobody. And Angel. Angel. <laughs> that was metal as shit. Good? That was good. Yeah. Right, we're we're going to work on it. Bye, people. Yeah, bye.